Hey, how you doing, you crazy wing nuts? I have a new episode of Comic Reviews of Fate. They are, of course, brought to you by my comic book, Red Knight. And Red Knight 6 is out and available. You can buy it right now off of a couple of websites. My Etsy shop on uh, manospublishingetsy.com and uh, the primalpapercomics.com website uh, where you can actually also order The Ends from Jeff Hewitt. Uh, the Willpower book I don't think is available, but you can uh, get it off of the Willpower comic uh, website as well. Definitely check out the links below. Uh, we work really hard on these. We'd like you to read them. Now, how about some other comic books? Let's talk about Avengers, shall we? Issue 3 of Hickman's first story arc is pretty much done. Uh, Jerome uh, Apina. And, hey, wow. Okay, you beat me up, I'm getting my friends, and we're going to fuck your shit up. That's what Captain America pretty much does. Uh, Omega and his uh, you know, fun gods are still on Mars. They've uh, given birth of sorts to this Adam creation uh, that they have great plans for. He's going to be the kind of first being in their new uh, civilization. And... They have some huge plans, but oh, hey, look, Captain America has brought the fun, and uh, the fight begins, really. And I don't want to really give too much away, uh, but it is a pretty, let's see, now, I guess, I guess to the standard comic book viewer, they might consider this kind of the standard, uh, bad guys do bad stuff, and heroes come back and beat them up, but uh, I sense big plans here. Uh, this is a title you should take a look at. Uh, I'm going to give this a strong four RAM chips. The art by Opina is beautiful. Now, hey, there's another Avengers book. Did you know? Uh, this one's Uncanny Avengers. And this is issue three by Rick Remender and John Cassidy. And hey, you know, that Red Skull is really evil. He uh, is trying to kill all the mutants that uh, just suddenly popped up uh, because of the events of uh, the Phoenix thing over in uh, Avengers vs. Mutants. Uh, Avengers vs. X-Men, excuse me. And, yeah, he's been cutting up uh, mutants, and he included uh, cutting up and cutting out pieces of Xavier's brain and attached it, somehow grafted it to his brain. So now he has uh, Professor X powers, and he's using them horrifyingly. Matter of fact, Reading this issue, you really get a sense of how supremely powerful Professor X was because uh, within a few city blocks, he could just make people do whatever the fuck he wants. Uh, he's trying to get the humans to just kill mutants left and right. In some cases, they might not be mutants. You know, they might just have funny hats. Um, so that starts, like, a really chaotic uh, fight with people, like, changing sides, and even uh, Captain America is, have, ha is having trouble. And I, I don't know if he's going in this direction, but it, it may there may be some um, latent uh, mutant racism, uh, even within Captain America, that's you know, deep inside, but uh, that he's, he's fighting against. You know? So I, I, I would be interested to see if that actually goes somewhere. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he keeps, like, snapping out of it. I'm The guy has a will as strong as, um... If only there was some kind of country that I could compare him to as some sort of symbolic way. Oh, I'm sure there's, uh, Brazil. But, um, anyway, uh, wow, this is great. Uh, Rogue, Rogue and, uh, Scarlet Witch finally break free, uh, from Skull and, uh, tell Wolverine what he's been up to, and... He's not happy. Also, Thor gets uh, rather messed up at the begin at the end. Oh boy! I sure hope Red Skull doesn't win because this is pretty evil plot he's doing here. Uh, beautiful stuff. Uh, I think it's my favorite Avengers title so far right now. Uh, it's close. I mean, the regular Avengers book, um, uh, Kelly Sue DeConnick's Avengers Assembled is really good. Uh, there's some really good stuff with Avengers in it. Uh, so this is five round chips. Really loved it. And hey, here's the FF. FF number three uh, by Matt Fraction and Michael Allred. Now, last we left our Fantastic uh, Force, or whatever, uh, the Fantastic Four were just 
Reed Richards discovered uh, that the cosmic powers that uh, they have are actually breaking down and maybe slowly killing them all. So to cure them, he has to go and take everybody without telling them uh, across the universe. So he doesn't want to leave the future foundation like unguarded or something like that. So they find a whole bunch of people, their closest allies, uh, namely uh, the Scott Lang Ant-Man, She-Hulk, Medusa, and uh, Johnny Storm didn't have a better idea than his own girlfriend who has no superpowers and no experience at all in crime fighting. Um, and she happens to be a pop star. Now, kind of a Katy uh, Perry type of pop star. But, hey, last issue, this old guy shows up claiming to be Johnny Storm and saying, hey, they're all dead, dead, dead. Uh, and I ran away and it's terrible and doom. And, and Annihilus and a whole bunch of people and Craig and they sat on our chests and spit at our faces and it was terrible. So, uh, Scott actually goes to seek out uh, Darla Deary. And uh, there's, okay, a lot of cosmic stuff going on, but Scott and uh, Darla chasing uh, these internet jerks that took pictures of her while she was in a towel actually is my favorite part of this <laughs> the issue why they chase them throughout the building uh and they're they're yancey street guys and they're wearing uh thing masks which is hilarious uh they call her not the real thing and stuff like that and you know these guys are i don't know the yancey street guys are kind of hard to figure out sometimes they always dump on ben but the second somebody takes his place to go hey you know ben Grimm, you son of a bitch <laughs> um anyway uh they kind of lose the last guy in uh oh the new year but he asks, uh, uh, Scott asks uh, Darla to come back. And I really, really like this book. And the end, Scott comes up with a mission statement. We're going to get rid of Doom. There, fuck them. We're going to get rid of them. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm very curious to see where that story goes. And I love Mike Allred's work. It's just beautiful. Oh, uh, that guy never disappoints. Get this book. I uh, hope you're not overlooking it, because it's really what, worth your time. Five Ram Chips. <clears throat> now, hey, I got another book that's not Marvel. What the hell? It is The Secret History of the Foot Clan, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue two, by, uh, let's see, I think this is, uh, let's see, uh, Matias, uh, Matis, uh, Santa Loco, and Eric Burnham, uh, also Santoloco doing the art, and I apologize, Mr. Santoloco, if I totally butchered your name. M my apologies. Uh, because this is a fantastic book, and by the way, this is probably one of my favorite storylines this year. Uh, granted, it's January, but uh, this may be one of my favorite... Well, it depends how well this ends, but uh, holy crap, this has been a lot of fun. It goes back and forth to uh, Japanese history with uh, the creation of the Foot Clan and how it came to be. Uh, and we have this great sequence. See, a lot of it involves this Professor Miller. Ha ha ha! And he has learned a ton of stuff about the Foot Clan, even stuff they have forgotten about and don't know. Um, so there's this race to, you know, get him. And uh, the turtles are still trying turtles. Casey and April are trying to figure it out. There's this cool rate chase sequence at the beginning. And the turtles throw a tracker on uh, Professor Miller. Uh, meanwhile, we learn a little bit more about, uh, about uh, let's see, history right here. And we have this really cool kind of Japanese social drama building uh, into what I imagine is a tragedy uh, that's about to come up. And, wow, this is great. Also, uh, All Hell Breaks Loose on the last page. This is just a great book. Uh, I can't wait to read the next issue. Five Ram Chips. Uh, go get it. And if you've been considering getting Ninja Turtles from IDW, start here. This is a great book. Uh, I think that's it for now, so push the button, Lindsay.